Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, Arcade One Up fam. Um, I, I got messaged a lot about like the joysticks, what joysticks I use, and how to plug them in. And let's say if, if you're using the stock um, control pads, or if you modded it and now you're using one of these uh, USB encoder boards. Okay. Because um, a lot of the uh, RK One Ups, especially like the older models, the first generation, um, had these uh, four pin connectors on here you know uh, not your standard you know um, like these uh, you know the two pin uh, for each direction or your San Juan five pin and that's what these take these take you know if you have a San Juan it goes right here to the five pin board and if you're using like a HAP or you know um, uh, joystick with like these connectors um, you're using here for up down left right um, if you're upgrading let's say you want to put in a half stick and you're not modifying it you want to use the stock control pad but it's using um, one of these uh, to connect it uh, simply when you uh, when you take this out um, you, you're still going to use these wires as opposed to these so what you would do is uh, just you would cut these wires, you know, as far as this as you could, so, you could, so there's room to work with in case you mess up. And then you would just uh, strip this wire, and you would get one of these connectors on there that you would put, um, so you could connect them like this, uh, that they slide right in, you know, um, if you're using the stock. Uh, now I know there's other ways you could grip wires, uh, uh, maybe different converters, but that's what I do. Um, now the other question was, let's say you have your original arcade one up, you don't want to upgrade the joysticks, I, which I highly recommend it. But let's say you know, or you want to run these for now until you get your upgraded joystick. Um, so you have one of these wires. You know, th this was originally connected here to one of these you know as you could see I took the wires out you know so basically you would just cut the wires out don't remove the uh, where it's connected to you know because it, it was soldered onto these connectors so just you know if, if you leave some of the wire in there that's fine you know just don't because these are very small connectors on here as you could see so you don't want to uh, bend or break that it's very uh, fragile these you know like i said they're not great quality sticks to begin with um so just remove the wires uh, from these connectors so it's like this and uh basically what you would do you would still use these uh wiring here you would just remove these you're not going to use these wires uh you're going to disconnect that and your encoder comes with a uh, whole bunch of these wires you know if you if you order the right ones you'd get one of these and basically how I have it here let me just take it off so you have uh, this and and where where you remove the wires uh, let me just see if I can put the camera down all right where you remove the wire from um, there's two connectors on each each one and you got to plug both of them in it doesn't really matter which one you use so as long as they're connecting, there's a connection going through. So basically, as you see right there's one, you just slide it in. That's it. And it's good. This one's good to go. You get the second one down here on the bottom. And you'll slide this one in here. Now, is it going to be really uh, good secure on here? I can't. Uh, <laughs> I mean be much that's why it's it's better to upgrade them because uh, these these sticks are not that great you know but if you're gonna do that if you're gonna use the uh, original that's what you would do and then now you could uh, plug this in and just keep in mind when you when you're putting these sticks in um, when you move this up the the bottom one actually see if I'm moving up this moves down and the bottom one actually is getting uh, triggered on here so this would actually be up so this is going to be up this is down 
and this is left right because you already flipped over so left right is actually the same when you're looking this way on it you know and then you would just plug it in uh, if you're using my uh, images you know if you want to stay the same so you don't have to configure anything later, later on down the road it's up down um, on here and then right left so up down right left uh, going across if you're using sandwa stick it's right here uh, but like I said I would recommend upgrading on here uh, if you look at my machines now here I use uh, industrial Lorenzo it just I wanted like the top of the line but problem with these uh, they go right into the buttons here so you have to do some modifying on the board you have to cut it off just to make it fit but there's other uh, sticks you could use like say so you could use Sanwa sticks there's um I'll leave some in the description if you guys want to take a look uh, there's even these uh, cheap uh, third-party knockoffs that fit right in there so if you don't want to do any type of cutting and look pretty decent and they're cheap uh, much better than the stock that's for sure uh, these were no problem fitting I think just one of them uh, maybe it was this one came close to the point I had to put it sideways this way so you know that was no problem and then here you know I'm using a half stick here like I said when you're putting you just have to uh, put new holes on there now if you want to use new sticks and let's say you don't um, like you up like you upgraded this to a, a San Juan stick you could uh, remove this plate here by unscrewing this and putting it to your new plate on there so it uses the same uh, holes here so when you put this in it'll be like a plug and play you don't have to put uh, new holes so remember that uh, you could just remove this plate if you're going to get a uh, sandwa stick that, that used plates that might have different holes in area so you don't have to put additional holes if you use the haps you have to drill new holes um, so I, I hope that clarifies if there's any further questions on this let me know um, but yeah yeah like I said these are now I don't know about the new waves they probably use something else but this is going like the first and I think second wave of joysticks. I have them all taken out from me. I don't use them, but if you are going to use it, uh, that's how you do it. You, uh, you just connect it, you know, like these are more secure. As you can see, it's, you know, you know, where I suppose these RK1 ups, it's like such a small connector on here. I don't know how secure it will be, but you got to get the wires onto here. Unless you want to solder them, and that's the other option. Because uh, that's what they did. They pretty much soldered the uh, the wires to it. But you don't have to. Like I say, you just slide it uh, to the connector. Some of them might be a little bit harder than other. If there's a little bit of wire left, it's going to be a little bit bigger. But eventually, you could just slide it in. So it's uh, I was able to do it. So if, uh, I don't know. Um, I hope that clarifies things. Alright, signing up.